Hello guys, and in this video we are going to review VLC for Android. VLC is one of the great video players on Google Play. On Google Play, it has over 100 million downloads with average rating of 4.4 and over 1 million ratings in total. The video is all about VLC media player for Android, so let's begin. When we open the application, the video menu is always there, unless you have switched to audio manually. On the video interface, we have a search bar on the top with a button to play the last played video or audio. Next to the restore button, we have an option to sort out the videos. VLC can sort the video in name, length and size. The last button we can see contains two tools. We can refresh VLC or change equalizer settings in the lost option. Alright, moving to the video player, VLC comes with a wide range of tools. The first button on the list is to lock and unlock the screen feature. You can unlock by tapping the same button again. The second button in the menu is for audio and subtitle. You can add or disable the audio and subtitle. You can also tap on download subtitles button to download the file from the internet. The third button is to pause and resume the video. The fourth button comes with amazing tools. The first button in the menu is called sleep in to help you stop watching at the right time. The second option is for playback speed. You can change the playback speed and you can touch on the orange button to reset the playback speed. The third option is to jump to time which will help you to go anywhere in the video. The fourth button is for equalizer settings. You can change the settings and always reset. The fifth option is for playing video in the background which can help while listening to a video song. The sixth option is for subtitle delay and the seventh option is for audio delay. When there is a difference in lip sync then this option is helpful. The seventh option is for a pop-up floating window. The second last option is for repeating the videos. If you have selected only one video then it would go from zero to only one. The last one is called digital audio output. Not sure what it does but something to mention in the video. Coming back the last feature is for the screen ratio. Let's talk about the swiping buttons. On the far right we can drag and drop to change the volume while on the left hand side we have the brightness settings. To change the brightness settings you must give permission. The last one is swiping left and right which helps navigate the video. We are moving to the audio player. We have the option for audio next to the video. I will play one of the songs and look at the audio player. VLC's audio player has improved a lot in the recent updates. You can see we have a search bar with other options next to it. In the far left we have a button which contains features like sleep in, playback speed, jump to, equalizer, save the playlist and digital audio. You can also tap on play all songs to start the playlist. On the playlist you can remove a song by swiping left or right and reorder by holding a song and moving it. For my videos and audio songs I always open VLC. Anyway that's it from me. I hope the video helped. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for great videos.